powerful magnitude 5.5 earthquakes just and the quake swarm just hit Long Valley Caldera, the California very high threat supervolcano. We've had these Nevada earthquakes for months now, and this one is a very big one, 5.5. We have quake swarms still ongoing. Let's take a look at the maps. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. My Patreon channel will have five different videos from my YouTube channel every day. Thank you so much for your support and that you find the contents of my YouTube channel so interesting. And you'll find the Patreon channel details in the description box below the videos. Thank you. Long Valley Caldera is a supervolcano, one of the 20 around the world. It erupted the Bishop Ash about 760,000 years ago. It covered most of the southwestern United States, including Los Angeles with the ash, and the continued volcanic activity produced Mammoth Mountain, which it's, uh, with its popular ski slope is still active and is being closely monitored by the USGS. Now, we also know that from Baja, California, there is a mantle plume splitting into a Y shape. The western part goes under the San Andreas Fault and the Walker Lane Fault System, where we have very high threat volcanoes of California. And the eastern part, as we see here, goes through Utah all the way up to Yellowstone and then makes a western turn and uh, very close to the surface uh, to the Idaho volcano field. And uh, this is basically the hot spot of Yellowstone. So this mantle plume is connected west and east. Let's take a look at the map to see what's going on. In uh, Nevada, and it's just east of Long Valley Caldera. Okay, Walker Lake, Walker Lane Valley, Lake Walker Lake. This is it right here. Okay, this is Mono Lake of the, this is the area of the Long Valley Caldera supervolcano. And uh, as we know, here is about the area of uh, Ridgecrest that we had the, uh, the uh, uh, earthquake 7.1 July. And then we still have earthquakes there going on, of course, but this is what we're talking about. This is where we've had months of activity. Uh, basically, this is the same map area of Long Valley Caldera. It has a geothermal plant there. Okay, this is what we're talking about, the 5.5. And we have, uh, these, these are only the quakes above two and a half magnitude. And this is about three miles down, 5.5. And we have a tremendous amount of, there's Mono Lake, Long Valley right there. Okay, that's a system there. And this is just... Uh, west of it, uh, east of it, but it's in the same uh, area. Now, okay, we know that Nevada has a tremendous amount of uh, volcanic fields. Let's go to this. This is the map of it. Oh, I want, to, I want you to see that uh, 155 people, there's hardly anybody living there. 155 people reported it up to now. And, uh, okay, okay, let's go back to our map here. That's Mono Lake, and this is our, where are we? I just wanted to show you Mono Lake, and that's it. Okay, now let's go to our faults, shake map intensity, okay, and our aerial. All right, as you can see, it stops. The USGS stops the block, but... Um, Okay, it's just basically uh, east of San Francisco. And I don't know how many people in that area have felt it. There's not that many people living here, as we said before. But that's not a small earthquake. 5.5 definitely, as you can see, did shake Long Valley Caldera, as you can see from the shake uh, intensities right here. It did shake Long Valley Caldera, a supervolcano, which is inflating. Okay, the uh, Volcano Discovery site tells us a little bit about Long Valley. It has 240 cubic miles of lava underneath, magma underneath. Large 17 by 32 kilometers Long Valley Caldera, east of the central Sierra Nevada range. The result of a giant explosive eruption happening 
760,000 years ago, formed the widespread voluminous Bishop Tuff. The caldera has been showing unrest in recent years in the form of deformation, the caldera floor, and earthquake swarms. It contains numerous hot springs and fumaroles. In order to better study and monitor the caldera, USGS has established a Long Valley Observatory. It's deforming because it's inflating. Okay, let's go back to our map right here. Okay. So all of you there, please be very careful. Uh, this is, uh, I would say, much a much bigger earthquake than uh, is, of course, uh, considered background um, uh, background activity. Now we know that in March, okay, this is Salt Lake. This is Salt Lake in Utah. This is the area of the Baja California, the mantle plume that we said goes here. This western part, the magma is underneath the San Andrea fault system and the Walker Lane fault system, which has all the high threat volcanoes of California. And then it makes that eastern branch through Utah into uh, right there, Yellowstone, and then goes into the area of Idaho. You can even see the lava flow right there right there, that little thing, like a horseshoe. That's the lava flow, beautiful. You can see, even see it from the air. Okay, and that is Yellowstone Lake right there. Where are we? Can we see it from here? There's Yellowstone Lake right there. Okay, that's Yellowstone Lake. So you can see that's how it goes. Yellowstone Lake and Hebgen Lake is that Z over there. So that's the same uh, source coming from Baja California. Now, 5.5 is not small. The, uh, on uh, March 18th, we had a 5.7 hitting south of Salt Lake City right there. And we still have quick swarms going on. 5.7 out of nowhere on March 18th. And then two weeks later, we had the 6.4 in Idaho, Boise, Idaho, right there. Two weeks later, on the night of March 31st to April 1st. So, and the USGS did tell us that that Idaho quake did shake the hydrothermal system of Yellowstone. They didn't believe it uh, affected the magma, but the, it would have, could have, could affect the hydrothermal, the plumbing system of Yellowstone. There's Yellowstone Lake right there. So, this is not small, as you can see. It's basically about the same size that we had in Utah in March. So uh, all of you there, please be very careful because that's not a small quake, 5.5 magnitude. And the, the red, the blue is today's quakes. The red is just the past hour. And uh, the, as we said before, we had uh, for months on end, I've been making videos on this, the, uh, Mina, the, the Nevada earthquakes uh, west, uh, east of uh, Long Valley Caldera. Let's remember that we had earthquake swarms in Ridgecrest before the 7.1 hit, the day after the July 4th of 6.4, which is the precursor, the uh, foreshock. So uh, all this is magma underneath. The earth is growing. It's growing at the rate of a human fingernail every year. And uh, the Great Basin and Range area, this is growing as well. This is all magma under, this is all volcanic fields. Beautiful country if for anyone that wants to take a field trip or, you know, I don't know what the lockdown situations are in each area, but um, beautiful area. And if uh, a lot of uh, just on a tangent, there are many places where you can actually um, go to uh, explore, you know, on a geological field trip, you can uh, actually go and look for gems or semi-precious stones, they give you a bucket, and whatever you find, you can have. You pay for the bucket, large, small, medium, whatever. There have been people that have found uh, valuable, <laughs> valuable stones, you know. Now, for example, the people in Kansas, uh, when we had, uh, here we are, right here, the people in Kansas, where we had reports of people, uh, sh houses shaking and booms and, uh, a noise coming from underneath the foundations of their homes because you know Kansas has at least 15 volcanoes most of them are diamond spewing volcanoes and they do release 
gas, uh, volcanic gases, and sometimes they, they are explosive. Kansas, right here. And that comes because of the fact that there's a mantle plume, there's magma under the uh, Great Lakes, like a horseshoe shape. The western part goes this way and then turns west, and the eastern part goes this way around the uh, New Madrid seismic rift zone. And that mantle plume has been there since the early ages of the Earth, about a billion years ago. The uh, geologists don't know where the source is, but it's there. So anyway, please be very careful. That was a big earthquake. And uh, as uh, the geologists tell us, earthquakes beget earthquakes because of the fact that they jolt the nearby, um, the nearby fault lines. Okay. So it did t that did jolt Long Valley Caldera, as we said before, which is deforming and inflating with magma. Okay, thank you for your support. Please leave your comments. And all of you there, please be very careful. Thank you.